Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have some exciting news from the world of Linux and open source desktops. The GNOME project has just announced the alpha release of GNOME 48, giving us a first look at the new features and improvements coming to this popular desktop environment. If you're a GNOME user or just a Linux enthusiast, you'll want to stick around to see what's new in this upcoming release. Overview of GNOME 48 Alpha GNOME 48 Alpha introduces a variety of new features and refinements aimed at improving the user experience, performance, and accessibility. This release brings better notifications, improved screen time management, and enhanced support for various system components. Let's break down the key highlights of this update. Key features and improvements. One of the most noticeable improvements in GNOME 48 Alpha is the introduction of OSD on-screen display notifications for headphone connections. This means whenever you plug in your headphones, you'll get a visual confirmation on the screen. Additionally, GNOME 48 introduces support for screen time and health breaks, allowing users to set limits on screen usage, an excellent feature for those looking to balance their digital well-being. There's also support for system sysext in toolbox tooling, making system extensions more flexible and modular. For developers and advanced users, GNOME 48 adds a new convenience logging API for extensions, built-in render doc support for debugging, and improved protocol support, including XDG top-level drag bone and WP viewport support for cursor surfaces. Section 3, Performance and Accessibility Enhancements. Performance improvements are always a welcome addition, and GNOME 48 brings several enhancements. The color management system has been refined, making display calibration more accurate. Cursor movements now have reduced input-to-output latency, meaning better responsiveness, especially for high refresh rate monitors. For accessibility, the quick settings menu has been improved, making the keyboard backlight toggle more accessible. The contrast of notification placeholders has been adjusted, and the on-screen keyboard has received a visual refresh. G-N-O-M-E software updates. GNOME Software, the default package manager, has also received notable updates. It now includes an experimental system sysupdate plugin, enhancing system updates. The performance when loading available updates has been optimized, and there are interface improvements for better keyboard navigation and usability on small screens. A significant addition is the improved handling of Snap App uninstallation and a new warning system for apps that request microphone permissions when using Pipewire. GNOME Maps and Other Apps GNOME Maps has switched to the new Modus V2 API for improved transit information. It also features a refreshed UI with new icons, animation for favorite locations, and an enhanced POI edit dialog. Orca, the screen reader, has improved responsiveness and event processing, ensuring better usability for visually impaired users. Clipboard support has also been enhanced, along with better spell check handling. Other GNOME apps have also been updated. Loop, the image viewer, now displays XMP metadata for JPEG images and introduces basic image editing tools like Crop, Rotate, and Flip. GNOME Calendar features a redesigned event editor dialog. Events, the document viewer, has improved support for Adobe PDF open parameters. Decibels, the new audio player, now supports multiple windows and playback rate shortcuts. GNOME Calculator now supports pressure unit conversions and a new keyboard shortcut for clearing history. The Epiphany web browser has an improved history dialog, a redesigned privacy report, and a simplified UI for importing bookmarks and passwords. GNOME Control Center Enhancements The GNOME Control Center, or Settings app, has received some useful upgrades. Battery charge limiting is now available in the power panel, helping extend battery lifespan for laptops. There's also a new button to open custom search locations in the search panel. Additionally, an early version of the well-being panel has been added, though it's disabled by default for now. Other minor app updates. Beyond the core features, many default GNOME applications have received small but meaningful updates. These include improvements to GNOME Font Viewer, GNOME Clocks, Snapshot, GNOME Boxes, GNOME Sudoku, GNOME Keyring, Lightsoft, Swellfoop, Five or More, GNOME Minds, GNOME System Monitor, Baobab, GNOME Disk Analyzer, GNOME Weather, GNOME Characters, and Tecla. What's next for GNOME 48? 
The GNOME 48 development cycle is still ongoing, with the beta and release candidate versions expected in February and early March. The final stable release is planned for March 19, 2025.